the United Nations hopes to create a world of zero hunger by 2030. However, the number of world hunger has deteriorated recently. The global climate change has also brought severe challenges to rice farmers. Let's see how Malaysia deals with the food shortage problem. The fragrant rice is one of the staple food in many people's daily diets. Husking of raw rice into white rice involves many complicated steps. Sakinchen, which is a small town located in the lofting part of Selangor, is one of the main rice production areas in Malaysia, with an average yield of 10 metric tons of rice per hectare. The weather is pretty good now. Sometimes there is strong wind at night, which will beat the rice leaves around. As the edges of the leaves are very sharp, they may cut and hurt each other, causing the tips of the leaves to turn red slowly. At the booting stage, when the rice leaves turn red, the nutrient absorption of the whole plant will be disturbed, affecting the harvest. The leaves mainly support the nutrition of the entire plant, especially the panicle, which is the most important. If bacteria infect the developing grains, the amount of rice grains will be decreased by 30%. There are normally about 200 rice grains in each panicle of rice. Maybe half of them are empty. From sowing to harvesting, the growing period of rice is about four months. However, the global climate change has brought severe challenges to rice farmers. The world's climate is getting worse. We as rice farmers rely on weather for successful harvest. I'm also worried it will snow and sicken Chan one day. The abnormal climate has led to food shortage crisis in many countries. In the past few years, the number of hunger in the world has sharply deteriorated and its growth rate has exceeded the world's populations. According to the latest UN report, in 2020, more than 800 million people around the world will suffer from food shortage, which is equivalent to one out of nine people in a hundred states. October the 16th is a World Food Day. The United Nations marks this year's theme as our actions are our future, hoping to raise awareness about food crisis. In Malaysia, our self-produced rice accounts for about 70%, while the imported white rice accounts for 30% of the total. Currently, we have 200 kilotons of rice in our inventory. It can go up to 290 kilotons, which is enough for six months. The Malaysia Rice Wholesales Association cooperates with the National Rice Limited Company to introduce imported white rice to the market so as to stabilize market supply and price of the rice. On average, 200,000 tons of imported and self-produced white rice are consumed every month. Even if there is a change, it's only in terms of price, but not on rice supply. The food crisis has also attracted the attention of different religions. In the food system, Zuzu advocates the concept of simple vegetarian dishes to replace heartly delicacies. By reducing meat's desire, everyone can make good use of their abilities to help others, while reducing food waste. The rice grain that is not ripe enough will not drop, making it a waste, so we always tell farmers to harvest those totally ripe ones. With actual experience, the children can understand the toil of farming and learn to cherish food. I can better understand the farmer's hardship and learn that even one rice grain is so precious that we should cherish it. In face of food shortage, people should cherish food to avoid waste. Everyone should bear it in mind to truly solve the problem.